man. Not walking to walk. We got to be dolphin safe, right? Let's go check in with Natalie. She's over there getting some eco-friendly beauty tips. We are at the beautiful Willow Spa here in Santa Monica, and joining me today is CEO and founder of EcoStiletto.com, Rachel Sarnoff. Thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. So tell me a little bit about EcoStiletto.com. You're a green beauty expert here. <sighs> so. I guess. Yes. I don't know. I mean, I must be if I'm talking to you, right? Exactly. So basically, the concept is for women to understand how to shrink their carbon footprints, and the conceit is you want to shrink it from an Ugg boot, which is obviously the biggest thing you could put on your feet, to a Manolo, which is the smallest possible footprint you can make on the earth and you know we don't mean that literally what right. we mean is every time you make a choice to buy something green green beauty green fashion something in your life green lifestyle you're making a choice to shrink your carbon footprint if you make a choice to buy conventional maybe you're making a choice to leave it the same size I love the shoe comparison mm -hmm. Very clever. It, women get it yes, right? men absolutely. are like Manolo they're clueless you know what is that? <laughs> there's so many beauty products on the line whether it's shampoo makeup you know lotions what else is out there and why is it so important to to well, choose green. I think what we're trying to do basically is add a third question to the question of should I buy. So basically women usually think like, does it make me look good? Right. Or fat. <laughs> yes, we're concerned. You know, yeah. does it make me look good and can I afford it? And so what I'm trying to say is the third question maybe could be, is it sustainable? How do you know what to look for, whether you're reading um, the ingredients or you seek organic? If it just says organic, it doesn't necessarily mean anything, unfortunately. It's not a regulated term. However, if it says USDA certified organic, mm -hmm. that means that all of the ingredients in that product are made without insecticides, without pesticides. There are no chemicals involved in that, and it, the government has actually certified it. Certified organic, not USDA, but just certified organic, right. that means that 95% of the ingredients are organic. Now, I've been hearing a lot about parabens. So for those that don't know what those are, can you tell me what paraben mean? A paraben is basically a chemical preservative. If you're manufacturing a beauty product and you want it to be pretty cheap, you're going to use a paraben to preserve it. You know, if you look on the back of your label, right. there's usually like a long, you know, 12 syllable word like methyl right. or paraben, well, right? That is, yeah. If it ends in paraben, it's a paraben. Right. Parabens have been found in breast cancer tissue, they've um, been linked to reproductive disorders. It's not like poison, right. but when you think about all the different things that you put on your body every day, mm -hmm. all of those things, you know, are going to add up. Sunscreen is a really good example. The chemicals in those chemical sunscreens just don't work as well as the natural sunscreens. The natural sunscreens are made from um, zinc or titanium dioxide. These are ingredients that actually form a physical barrier on your skin. And that's okay for you. And that's, yeah, they're okay. They're natural okay. ingredients. And you don't have to have the color. And zinc. they no longer <laughs> turn you white. Yay. Okay, perfect. Because right? remember all the kids at the pool yes. back in the day that had either the white or yes. the, the pink. Okay, so Rachel, how can there be about 12 things that I'm putting on my body every day? <laughs> so it sounds like a huge amount, but if yeah. you think about it, so you probably have concealer, base, blush, shadow, liner, mascara. mascara, lip liner, lipstick. So what you basically want to do is look at the label. It's right. got organic mango seed. You know, it's clean. Things you can pronounce. Right, things you can pronounce. And just look for the word paraben, and if you see it, just put it back on Done. the shelf. This is fair trade um, shea butter. If that's part of what's important to you, mm -hmm. um, that's something to look for. And fair trade means that the ingredients are sourced, typically in third world countries, at first world prices. So wow. a company is not going in there and saying, okay, hey, you make a quarter a day, so I'm gonna give you 15 cents. They're going in and saying, hey, you make a quarter a day and I can afford to give you a dollar. This is a sunblock stick. That's now, cool. put it on you. So see, it's gone. Wow. I mean, it's not like, and it doesn't smell it's, like that weird chemical. It's not the zinc that we remember from when we were kids. Oh, so this is zinc? This is pure, yeah. This oh, is zinc and titanium. Great. Now, this is a mineral makeup line. And mineral makeups are great because if right. you're using regular mineral makeup, like in, instead of base or tinted moisturizer or right. what have you, it provides an automatic built-in SPF. You can find certified organic mineral makeup in the drugstore. That's Perfect. great. Okay, open. Pretty. Can I try a little of that cream blush? Yes. So usually you would you could use brush on this if you okay. wanted to. Yeah. It looks pretty. That's a good Does color it? on you. Can yeah. Well, my green beauty makeover. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank, thank you to Willow Spa. We had a wonderful time. Yes. And we will be back because this place is gorgeous. Absolutely. Yeah, that's not so eco-friendly. 